Welcome to Nordonia High School. Hope you had a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, New Year coming up. We've got some winter break basketball here at Nordonia High School for you on a Friday night. Nordonia Knights hosting Maslin Perry tonight here at Nordonia High School. And we are underway with the tip-off. Let's get you your starting lineups for both teams tonight. This is Nordonia Hills News Knights basketball broadcast with Darius Sethna. Your starting lineups first for Nordonia. The home team, they will have Anthony Lee, Joel Jones, Cooper Russ, Josh Malone, and Robert Watson are that starting five out there for the green and white. For Perry, the Panthers, they're all the way from Maslin, Ohio, so they've had a rather long car ride to get here. Nonetheless, their starting lineup consists of Quentin Tolls, Jared Pede, Jagger Haynes, Reese Heater, and Jack Wagner. To start off our game, Maslin have a 3-2 lead, and Josh Malone has just tied the game for Nordonia. Tied a three-piece, 7.25 here, left in the first quarter. Thank you for joining us on a Friday night here at Nordonia High School. Should have some fun night of hoops, and... We have a lot of NBA news to talk about. We had some big Christmas Day games this past Wednesday. We also have some more news and updates for you on the Cleveland Sports Show. But for now, it's Joel Jones crossing over to the basket. Able to score there. And the Knights have a 6-5 deficit to deal with right now and we have a foul called it is on Cooper Russ Cooper Russ will pick up his first foul of the game no free throws here very 
early on in the game here. That is a floater and a bucket by Quentin Tolles. Quentin Tolles, a junior, 5'11", playing in that guard position. Here comes Joel Jones with Reese Heater guarding him. Jones trying to find a pass. Heater was guarding him well. Here's Lee. Finds Russ. Russ deflected the pass. Jones wasn't able to catch it, and it is the first Knights turnover of the game. 6.29 left here in the first quarter. Here comes Quentin Tolles. We'll probably see a lot of him throughout the match. Looks like he's really the goal-to guy here for Maslin. A three-point attempt by Jared Pede is off the mark. And here comes Joel Jones the other way for Nordonia. Jones with heater on him. Jones drives all the way. Floater is off the mark. The rebound again by Quentin Tolles. Tolles pulls up and rims out a three. Watson the rebound. Here comes Anthony Lee. Anthony Lee, the junior, had a great game the last time we were broadcasting here with NordoniaHills.News against Highland. Here's Watson. Knights with a 59-56 win last time we broadcasted them in overtime here at Nordonia High School against the Highland Hornets. Here is Tolls. Tolls all the way to the basket for the lay-in. So it definitely looks like Quentin Tolls is going to be that go-to guy here for Maslin early on. Here comes Anthony Lee as the Knights are staring at a 5-10 deficit here in the first quarter. Lee has Tolls guarding him. Lee's trying to set up a play here. Finds Watson. Watson hands it back to Lee. Lee goes all the way to the bucket for the layup. Tried to draw some contact and the foul. Here comes Tolls the other way. Tolls sidestep layup is off the mark. Right in the hands of Pede, he wasn't able to convert. And here's Josh Malone, the senior. Hands it off to Jones, the final Jones of the Jones brother trio. The other two graduated last year, so Joel the only one left. And he draws the foul. Reese Heater, the senior, six feet guard position, is going to pick up that foul. And Joel Jones will be at the line shooting two shots and will try to cut this deficit to three. And early substitutions here to start in the game. Jackson Huntsman for Perry, number two, is coming into the game. And for the Knights, Owen Licht, who was a varsity soccer player this year, the senior, his first year in varsity soccer, had a great year. You know, of course, as you may know, I am on the Nordonia soccer team as well. Great guy to be around. Senior, great leader, and that three-pointer is good to go for Maslin Perry. Here's Lee. Knights are in an eight-point deficit early on here. 13-5, 4.30 remaining here in the first quarter. Perry with an eight-point advantage. Here's Jones all the way to the basket. No. Rebound in the hands of Jagger Haynes. Here's Tolls. Tolls crossover on Lee all the way to the bucket. No, is nice defensive play there, but Perry comes up with it. And that is an offensive rebound. Reese Heater able to come up with the offensive rebound, but the Jaguars cannot convert on the sloppy defense by the Knights and a sloppy turnover by the Knights. So poor defensive play, poor offensive execution to start the game. And we have a, pretty much a whole loon lineup on there out on the floor. Robert Watson, the only, Robert Watson and Josh Malone, the only two starters left there for the Knights. Owen Licht, Luke Jackson, Luke Tycote, both in, or excuse me, all three of them are in for the Knights in that starting five. Here is the post up by Jagger Haynes. Got his rebound back, can't get it. And we have a foul called. It's gonna be on the Knights. And head coach Dominique Sanders is not happy. Jagger Haynes is going to inbound the ball. 13-5, Maslin Perry is the score. 3.40 remaining here in the first quarter. Quentin Tolles has seven of Maslin Perry's 13 points early on. And to get another two-point bucket is Jagger Haynes. 6'6", six, six, the tallest player on Maslin Perry. Tallest player on the court, actually. 
as he is an inch taller than Ordonia's current player on the court, Robert Watson. And we have a quick timeout here. We'll get you some sports news right after this break on Ordonia Hills Boys Basketball Broadcast with Darius Sethna. Welcome everyone back to Norodonia High School. Hey, quick sports fact of the day. As you know, I also do these on my Cleveland Sports Show podcast. Hey, it's an anniversary in Cleveland sports. Cleveland Browns, remember that 1964 title was the most recent title uh, won in Cleveland before the Cavs won that 2016 championship. Everyone said, oh, since 19, the drought's over since 1964. Well, Today's the day in 1964 that the Cleveland Browns, they upset the Baltimore Colts 27 to nothing in the NFL championship game at home in the Municipal Stadium. The Colts are seven point favorites after posting a 12-2-0 record during the regular season. The Browns were 10-3-1 after a scoreless first half. Lou Groza gives the Browns a three nothing lead with a field goal. Before the third quarter ends, Cleveland quarterback Frank Ryan hits flanker Gary Collins with a touchdown pass of 18 and 42 yards for a 17 to nothing advantage. In the fourth quarter, Ryan hits Collins for another touchdown of 51 yards. Cleveland holds the vaunted uh, Baltimore offense led by future Hall of Famers Johnny uh, Unitas Lenny Moore, John Mackey, Raymond Berry, and Jim Parker to just 181 total yards to give the Browns an upset victory in the NFL championship game in Cleveland. 27 to nothing was that final score. So now when you talk about the Cavs championship, oh, that's the first championship in Cleveland since 1964. Now you know what that 1964 championship is about. Too bad the Browns were unable to upset the Colts this most recent Sunday as they lost 31-15. to Meanwhile, back here at Nordonia High School, it is a double-digit lead already for the visiting Maslin Perry Panthers, a 15-5 to advantage for Maslin with 2-15 remaining here in the first quarter. Here's Quentin Tolles. We've seen a lot of him, and he airballs a three, and... Jared Pede tried to save it, but too late, already out of bounds. Substitution time again. Anthony Lee checking back in for the Knights. Joel Jones is checking in as well. So it's Lee Jones, Luke Jackson, Owen Licht, and Clay McMillan, the senior. All three of them out, or excuse me, all five of them out there for the Knights. Here is Jones backing down. Jackson Huntsman. Jones, the two number twos going at it. And we have a foul called. Joel Jones is fouled once again. He struggled from the line a little bit the opening few minutes of the game. Joel Jones will have a chance to redeem himself and get this ball game back within signal digits for the Knights. And he's unable to do so. Jones with the second free throw attempt is off the mark. He's 0 for 2 on that attempt, but Luke Jackson comes up with the rebound and Clay McMillan able to redeem those two free throw misses by Jones. It is an eight point Maslin Jaguars lead. Here is a three point attempt by Jack Wagner, who's off the mark. And Quentin Tolles once again. Quentin Tolles is on fire now with 10 points, the highest score of the game so far. And Jones has another turnover. Luke Jackson comes up with it, though. Jackson, he's going to run a little offense here. Finds Lick. Lick for a corner three. Yes. That's a three. By soccer and basketball star Owen Licht and Maslin commits a turnover. 56 seconds remain here in the first quarter. 18-10 score in favor of the Jaguars here in Nordonia High School against the Knights. 
Jackson inbounds it to Anthony Lee. Lee against Tolls. Jones almost lost it. It's deflected by Tolls and it's a foot race that's won by Anthony Lee. Lee now has Jared Pede guarding him. Owen Licks. Lick finds Jackson with Tolls on him. It's hard to see what's going on with the coaches uh, standing in front of us, but they're doing their job as just as we are. But the Knights able to convert on that play. 12-18, final 10 seconds coming up here. Maslin with a six point lead. Here's Tolls. Almost turns it over and they do. Here's Jackson, can he come up with the final second shot? No, he can't. So that will end our first quarter of play. The Maslin Perry Jaguars coming to Nordonia High School have a strong first quarter, put up 18 points. Quentin Tolls was the go-to guy with 10 of their 18. First quarter score, 18-12 in favor of the Jaguars. We will have second quarter stats right here for you coming up next on Rodonia Hills Boys Basketball Broadcasts with Dariah Sethna. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School. Hope you enjoyed your holidays as we have New Year's coming up but some Friday night basketball for you here at Nordonia High School as the Knights are in an 18 to 12 deficit here to start the second quarter against the visiting Perry Jaguars all the way from Maslin, about an hour's drive south of here. So, and I've been down there. It is a long drive, but that does not seem to have any effect on the Jaguars so far as they hold a six point lead against the hometown Knights. Here is Anthony Lee to start off the second quarter. Finds Malone. Logan Jankowski in there for the Knights, his, seeing his first minutes of the game. And here's Quentin Tolls, the leading scorer with 10 points. The floater is off the mark. Rebound. Jagger Haynes tried to come up with it. And the ball, the possession will remain in favor of Perry. Reese Heater to inbound. Lobs it up for a Jagger Haynes layup. Nice execution there. Jagger Haynes, the tallest player on the court at 6'6", an inch taller than Nordonia's current tallest player on the court, Robert Watson. Jones almost turned it over again. Here he is with Peter on him once again. Jones spins in the paint. The layup comes up short. And here is Tolls. Quentin Tolls drives. The left hand is short, but a foul is called on the Knights. It looks like it might, it's called on Anthony Lee. It's a pushing foul. And Quentin Tolls will be shooting free throws. So Tolls at the free throw line. Zero fouls, 10 points. That's definitely what head coach Chad Spurgeon had in mind who are really one of his go-to guys. It's been terrific, has half the team's points. Goes one for two at the line. Hey, the Cleveland Sports Show is back. Don't miss our uh, most recent episode from this past Sunday. We have all the highlights for you. Cavs basketball, Browns conclusion of the season, unfortunately will not be in the playoffs this season. Still a long way to go in the Cavs regular season talk about that as well. Premier League action also on topic for today. We also say a quick thank you to Corey Kluber and everything he did for the Indians franchises in his years here in Cleveland. So that's our topic for the Cleveland Sports Show. You can check it out right here on NordoniaHills.News or you can go to Darius.News D-A-R-A-Y-U-S dot news. All my postings can be found on SoundCloud, the Twitter links that are posted on that website. So it's all there for you to enjoy and listen to. We're also on Spotify. Just type in the Cleveland Sports Show on Spotify or my name, 
D-A-R-A-Y-U-S-S-E-T-H-N-A is how you spell it. And all your Cleveland sports needs will be met. Meanwhile, Knights struggling a bit here. Down nine, and Lee falls down. Looks like he bumped into Malone. And Maslin's going to call a timeout. It is a nine-point advantage for the Maslin Jaguars. 21-12 is our score here at Nordonia High School in favor of the visitors. Jaguars call a full timeout, so we will be right back with Nordonia Hills basketball here on NordoniaHills.news. Welcome back, everyone, to Nordonia High School. Knights in a nine-point deficit. 21-12 against Maslin with 5.26 remaining here in the second quarter. Top scorer for Maslin, 11 points and no fouls is Quentin Tolls. He's going to get a quick spurt here again in the second quarter. Chad Spurgeon not giving him a rest, but he's on fire right now. And here is Jared Pede. Another turnover committed by Perry. Jagger Haynes unable to hold on to the possession. Here come the Nordonia Knights. Anthony Lee in charge of this offensive set. Coach Dominique Sanders has a lot of trust in this young guard, junior. Didn't make the team last year, but definitely has shown some great improvements and is now on a starting varsity role. Robert Watson is fouled and won for Robert Watson. His first points of the evening. Robert Watson now with a chance to cut this lead to six after the Knights were down by as many as ten. And the Knights' free throw woes continue now here in this first half. Here's Quentin Tolls with Cooper Russ guarding him. Quentin with a crossover. Quentin to the bucket and Quentin with the finish. Quentin Tolls is the man right now for Perry. Mr. Basketball for Maslin. 13 points in the game. If he really tries, he can go for 30 if he really wants. Hey, the Cavs give you some NBA highlights. The Cavs played earlier today, 4 p.m. tip-off time against the Boston Celtics at from the TD Garden in Boston. Cavs fall to the hot Celtics who embarrassed the Raptors in Toronto on Christmas Day. Jalen Brown was fantastic. Nonetheless, Cavs fall to the Celtics 129 to 117 the final score. Cavs outscored in three of the four quarters. They outscored the, the Cavs outscored the Celtics in the third quarter, 34-30. Every other quarter, the Cavs were outscored in the game. Biggest lead for the Cavs was only two. 23 was the largest lead for the Boston Celtics. And it was Dante Exum's first official game as a Cleveland Cavalier. 14 minutes, 58 seconds, only nine points. One assist, but two steals. We'll see what Dante will give us in the next game for the Cleveland Cavaliers. More NBA games, however, are uh, here for you tonight. From Oklahoma, or excuse me, from Charlotte, North Carolina, in the Spectrum Center, the Oklahoma City Thunder have a 35 to 22 advantage over Terry Rozier and the Charlotte Hornets. From the Amway Center in Orlando, the Philadelphia 76ers, who came off an impressive win on Christmas Day against the Milwaukee Bucks at home, lead the Orlando match at 31-30 in a tight matchup on national television. The Milwaukee Bucks are in Atlanta at State Farm Arena to take on the Hawks. They have a, um, an early 10-4 lead. Indiana Pacers will be in Miami to take on Jimmy Butler in the heat should be a fun one there. And last, from the Chase Center, all the way in the Bay Area in San Francisco, the Phoenix Suns will 
visit the Golden State Warriors, who also had a huge win against the Houston Rockets. James Harden only limited to 24 points in the game. Russell Westbrook seemed to struggle as the game um, was going on as well. I'll tell you who's also seeming to struggle here. It's the Nordonia Knights back to a 10-point deficit to close out this second quarter. 324 still remains until half, but it is 25-15, Maslin Perry. Here's Joel Jones bringing up the ball for the Nordonia Knights. Ryan Reese also checks into the game, getting his first minutes. The Josh Malone putback is off the mark. Robert Watson lays it up and in. Nice play from Watson. Lead is cut back to eight. Here is Quentin Tolles, who has not had a break yet. Chad Spurgeon really having trust in this young man. Cooper Russ guarding Quentin Tolles. Quentin, thinking about what he's going to do, has a series of crossover moves. He'll drive. He's fast. And it is a pushing foul. The Knights want to travel. Dominique Sanders wants to travel. Luke Jackson's going to check in here for Malone. Looked like a travel at first, but there was a foul called against Nordonia. And the Jaguars will inbound. Here's Tolls. Tolls cross court feed to Jared Pede. Pede drives on Jackson, kicks it out in the corner. It was Reese Heater. But Heater took too many steps. And another Perry turnover. We talk about the Knights and how they've committed some turnovers. But Perry have just have been just as sloppy with the ball in this first half. Here's Robert Watson. Going up against Jackson Huntsman. Drives and is fouled. That is a blocking foul on Perry. And it's a blocking foul on Huntsman. Robert Watson's going to have a chance to cut this lead to six. But the Knights have struggled from the free throw line. Watson's first free throw is again off the mark. What is going on with the free throw shooting of the Nardonia Knights? They might just have to spend an extra hour at practice literally working on free throws at this point. Robert Watson goes one for two. Just none of those free throw trips are two for two. Either 0 for two or one for two. And situations like this, you really need both of those points. Here's Quentin Tolles. Cooper Russ again guarding him, same spot. Will it be the same result? No, it's a turnover by Perry Jones. Reese kept it alive, but he stepped out of bounds and Turnover to turnover. Perry committed to turnover, and about five seconds later, the Knights come up with a turnover of their own. Here's Reese Heater. Heater as Jones guarding him, finds Jared Pede. Luke Jackson's gonna give him a ton of space here at the half court line. It's giving Pede so much time to think about a play. Here's Quentin Tolles with Cooper Russ again pounding him. Quentin drives, kicks it out. Huntsman with Watson on him. Oh, and a nice steal. And did Cooper Russ kick it? No, obviously he didn't. Robert Watson comes up with it now. Everyone's diving on the floor. And a terrific, terrific hustle play from Watson. Diving on the floor, grabbing that arm a little bit. Court rubs are never, or court burns are never the best thing to deal with. Luke Tycote's checking in for Ryan Reese. And Jack Wagner is going to come out for Perry. Here's Luke Tycote controlling the offense. Dominique Sanders giving him some last minute instructions as we come up on a minute and 10 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. The Knights in a 25-18 deficit here at home against the visiting Perry Jaguars from Massillon. Uh, 
Jones. Hey, and Quentin Jones has finally picked up his first foul. 15 points for Quentin. Right now, he's the only scorer. He's the only uh, player out there for Maslin who's actually scored. 15 points for Quentin Tolls. Highest scorer on the Knights right now on the floor is Robert Watson. He has five. Knights are struggling mightily from the line. Here's Tolls. Now has Jordan Massey guarding him. The foul. Yes, and Quentin Tolls is going to head to the line. Dominique Sanders is trying everything at this point. He's got, he's had Cooper Russ guard him. He's had Jordan Massey guard him. Nothing seems to be working against this high school star. Tolls hits his free throw. Let's see if a high school player can actually go two for two from the line. Quentin Tolls, his second free throw is good. Hey, it is possible that high school players can actually go two for two from the free throw line. Let's see if the Knights can do that at any point in this game. Here's Luke Jackson. Jackson has Pede once again on him. Jackson lobs it in and a turnover by the Knights. But Jordan Massey tried to come up with it. Well, it looked like it got deflected out. Last touched by a Panther. 37 and a half seconds remain here until halftime. The Knights looking at a 27-18 deficit. Here's Luke Tycote. Tycote finds Jordan Massey, who's getting his first few minutes, and Malone couldn't hand on, uh, hold on to the pass. Looks a little bit frustrated. Here comes Maslin. It looks like Dominique Sanders is running a, an old school high press off, uh, defense here. And it's Quentin Tolls. Again at half court, again sizing up his man. Pede. Looks like the Jaguars are going to go for the final shot here. Ten seconds left on the clock until halftime. Here's Tolls that gets a double team. First double team we've seen executed on him. Tolls at the buzzer for three. No, the putback is way off the mark. And that will end our first half of play. Two quarters complete here from Nordonia High School. A 27-18 uh, scoreline in favor of the Maslin Perry Jaguars. Come in from about an hour away from Maslin, but apparently that long drive did not affect them in any way as they have executed here in this first quarter and Quentin Tolls has been fantastic 17 of the 27 points for Maslin it's a 27-18 score in favor of Maslin Perry in uh, at halftime for the second half of action we will return very shortly with Nordonia Hills uh, boys varsity broadcast with Daria Sechna here on NordoniaHills.News.
Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School second half action here to kick off on a Friday night. Hope you had a very happy holidays. Knights in a nine point hole right now to start this second half against the visiting Massillon Perry Jaguars. 27-18 to be more specific of as that scoreline for you. For your Nordonia Knights in their home whites this evening on a Friday night. It's Anthony Lee. Cooper Russ is in that starting lineup as well. Joel Jones, Coop, um, excuse me, Josh Malone, and then Robert Watson to round out that starting five for the Nordonia Knights. And it is Jones who's way off on the layup attempt. And Quentin Tolls, Quentin Tolls was the man of the half. 17 points in the period had almost half of Maslin's total input of points. And guess what? Maslin Perry look to extend their lead now to 12 after Reese, um, Reese Heater uh, with the, the three point play, the and one conversion. And it, this is the largest lead of the game for Maslin, 30-18 with seven 12 remaining here in the third quarter. Here's Cooper Russ with Jared Petty aggressively on him. Here's Robert Watson. Cooper Russ in the corner for three. Way off the mark. Knights really struggled to shoot the ball, especially from the free throw line, and they committed a plethora of turnovers as well. Here's Jack Wagner. Gets it out in the corner for Heater. The post up and the and one conversion is good by Jagger Haynes. Fantastic move. Able to get around Robert Watson and he will now have a chance to complete the three point play. This is a 14 point lead for Maslin. Apparently that hour long drive from Maslin Perry High School was not a factor in the Jaguars performance this evening. Already have some substitutions in. Vincent McFarland is actually a sophomore here at Nordonia High School, checks in. He'll replace Josh Malone, so. Dominique Sanders, not afraid to try out some new players here, especially in a 15 point deficit. Here's Jones. This is the largest deficit the Knights, have, the Knights have faced tonight. Cooper Russ has Jack Wagner guarding him. The shot, the drive, is off by McFarland, but he gets it back and he runs into Anthony Lee, his own teammate. McFarland finds Jones. Surprisingly, the Knights did not turn it over that time. Here's Anthony Lee. He's going to set up a play now. Has Pede guarding him. Cooper Russ uses the Watson screen, drives, and has it blocked emphatically by Jagger Haynes. Tolan. The three is an air ball, but Wagner comes up with it, and it is eventually claimed by Maslin. Here's Tolles. Tolles finds Haynes back to Tolles for three. Bingo. That's a th Another three-pointer by Quentin Tolls. He now has 20 points. 20 of the 36 points for Maslin. And let's be a little bit more specific for you. I've got my calculator out here. That's more than half of the input. Quentin Tolls has scored about 56% of, excuse me, of Maslin Perry's total uh, points. Over 56%. Hey, let's get to you some Cleveland Cavaliers updates. A loss tonight in Boston at TD Garden against the Celtics, 129-117. Upcoming schedule, they'll be in Minneapolis tomorrow night to take on the Timberwolves. And then, for New Year's Eve, they'll be north of the border in Toronto at the Scotiabank Arena before coming home to take on Terry Rozier and the Charlotte Hornets at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. We'll keep you updated with 
the live NBA scores going on right now. However, here it is an 18 point deficit and it might have a chance to extend with this offensive possession from Maslin. <laughs> Jagger Haynes with Ro Robert Watson on him. Jagger Haynes looks and turnover. If it was a poor pass or unable to catch it. Either way, another turnover. Maslin Perry have been a little bit sloppy with the ball here, but Quentin Tolls has pretty much made up for any of that with his brilliant offense. Luke Jackson smacks the ball down, trying to figure something out. The ball is not moving right now. Here's Lick, just checked in. And he has his pass deflected, gets it back, finds Lee in the corner. Lee behind the back. Finds Jones to Jackson, to Lee, pull up. No, it's just been that kind of night for the Knights. Tolls, just doing what he wants right now, pretty much. Tolls, a junior, 5'11 guard. He's had a terrific night, 20 points, only one foul. Tolls is just toying with everyone right now. Tolls just doing what he wants, and he finds Reese Heater. Peter with Jones guarding him. Perry taking their time here offensively. Here's Jack Wagner. Finds Heater back to Tolls. Tolls now is Jones guarding him. Wagner drives on Watson. There's thankfully no shot clock or this would be a shot clock violation. High school basketball, we don't have a shot clock. This isn't the NBA. Here is a three-point attempt that is bounces and is off by Wagner. And Luke, Ryan Reese checking in for Anthony Lee. Dominique Sanders gonna give him a couple minutes of rest here. Logan Jankowski and Clay McMillan also checking in. They'll be replacing Joel Jones and Robert Watson. Knights have yet to score in this third quarter, and Maslin's going to call a timeout. Reese Heater was str uh, struggling to inbound the ball, so head coach Chad Spurgeon just decided to play it safe with his team up 18, call a quick timeout, execute a play, and Dominique Sanders at the other end of this gym is probably in a completely different mindset right now as his team is down by 18 here in the third quarter. We'll be back to wrap up this third quarter from Nordonia High School um, in a few moments. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School as the Knights are down by nearly 20, have an 18 point deficit here with Three minutes to go in the third quarter. 36-18 lead for the Maslin Perry Jaguars who have had an impressive performance tonight. For the Panthers, excuse me, not the Jaguars. Buckets good by Luke Jackson, his first points of the evening. And here's Tolls. That's actually the first bucket here for the Knights in this third quarter. Here's Heater. Reese Heater drives all the way to the basket on Jackson, counting in a foul. Great move by Reese Heater, and he'll have a chance to increase this lead to 19 as Maslin Perry have blown it open. Can't speak too soon though, see if they actually hit the free throw and Speak of the devil, they don't. Another free throw miss. Here's Clay McMillan. The senior has a shot rejected by Jagger Haynes. Quentin Tolls. He speeds on Owen Lick. Crossover all the way to the bucket. Wow. Was that James Harden or Quentin Tolls? <laughs> Seems pretty uh, comparable to me right now. He has to get 60, though, and be an MVP candidate. Anyway, back into the game. Here is Logan Jankowski in the corner. Was trapped. Ryan Reese 
as it's stolen, and here comes Heater. Heater has recent pursuit. Heater, oh, that's a foul. Oh, is that a foul? No. T tremendous block by Jankowski. Maslin Perry have doubled up here on the Knights on the scoreboard. 40 to 20 is the score in favor of uh, the Panthers. 146 remaining here in the third quarter. Peter to inbound. The floater, no. Actually looked to pass out instead. Here is Jared Pettit back to Jagger Haynes. Jagger Haynes inside off the glass, yep. The lead just keeps growing and growing and growing. Here's Ty Cody, finds Ryan Reese. Reese will try to find McMillan. It's a kickball violation. And Knowledge Pool, uh, the youngest player on this varsity roster, sophomore, is Knowledge Pool at 6-5, the forward. Getting his first minutes of this varsity matchup. Luke Tycote gets a bucket. Knights applying some defensive pressure. Clay McMillan may have gotten hit in the head. He's holding his head right now. And it looks like, yeah, there's blood on his, on his head. They might have to stop the game real quick. Luke Ty, uh, Clay McMillan's pretty slow right now. The other, looks like they're gonna call a timeout. Nordonia's assistant coaches. Let's see what they'll do. Josh Malone's also uh, bloodied up. So the two seniors, Josh Malone and Clay McMillan, um, have some blood on them, look to get uh, cleaned up here. It's Luke Tycote, Logan Jankowski, Robert Watson, Joel Jones, and Ryan Reese out there for Nordonia. Anthony Lee's actually gonna check fan kiss. And so Lee checks in. Looks like he's checking in for Ryan Reese. Joel Jones with Reese Heater on him. They've seen a lot of each other in that matchup. Robert Watson the spin. Robert Watson short. Tolls the rebound. Tolls with 22 points on the evening. Here's Pede to Heater. Back to Pede with Lee guarding him. Knowledge Pool with his first touch of the uh, evening. Double team is on Heater, and Heater lost it. Here comes Ty Cody. Ty Cody drives on Petty, goes to the bucket, lost it, and ball will remain with Nordonia. 42-22, Panthers is the score. 17.4 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Knights are gonna have to have a big comeback on their hands and just the poor shooting and the struggles continue for Nordonia. Final five seconds on the clock. Tolls drives all the way and scores. So Tolls once again is on fire. Seven points in that quarter for Quentin and Perry has doubled up here on the Knights. 44 to 22 is our score here at Nordonia High School heading in to the fourth quarter. Can Nordonia have a dramatic comeback or will Perry handle their business and finish off this match? We'll see in this fourth quarter um, here for Nordonia Hills of uh, Knights broadcasts here on NordoniaHills.news. We will see you for third quarter action very shortly. Welcome back to Nordonia Highland Sports Show is back. Our 
sixth episode, if I'm not mistaken, on the Cleveland Sports Show was just updated this week, and we have a lot to talk about. Make sure you check it out um, on here, right here on ordoniahills.news, or you can go to darius.news, D-A-R-A-Y-U-S dot news, where you will be able to access links to my Twitter and SoundCloud account and view all my episodes of the Cleveland Sports Show, as well as my interviews with Ray Horner on the WAKR radio network with the Cleveland Cavaliers and Center Court. We also have all that on Spotify for you. Just type in Cleveland Sports Show and it's all there. There's lots of ways you can access it. Meanwhile, back here, Perry have doubled up on the Nordonia Knights. 44 to 22 is our score entering this fourth quarter. Here's Pede. Pede finds a Reese Heater. Heater finds Pede again. Out there for the Knights, it's Logan Jankowski, Robert Watson, Anthony Lee, Cooper Russ, and Joel Jones. The drive, the kick out. Here's Pede. Jones playing some good defense on tolls right now. Wide open is Heater. Heater fakes. Lays it up and off the mark. Robert Watson wanted to contest that shot. Did help in the end as Peter not able to convert the bucket. Jordan Massey is checking in for the Knights. Getting another stint here off the bench. Jordan Massey, the junior. Here's Joel Jones. Jones with Petty. Guarding him and it kicked, I think it hit uh, Logan Jankowski's foot. Either way, it's a turnover. Here's Tolls. Tolls back to Petty. Nice catch. Jagger Haynes. Jagger Haynes drives, kicks it out. Petty is almost at half court. Here's Reese Peter. Reese Heater finds Tolls, who drives again to the basket and again lays it in. High off the glass is Quentin Tolls, 26 points on the evening. He has been terrific. Cooper rests in the corner, finds Jones for the easy bucket. So the Knights finally convert on a layup, and it's 46-24 Maslin with 5.43 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Massey commits a foul, a reach-in foul. And Reese Heater will inbound the ball. Luke Jackson checking in for Nordonia. He is replacing Joel Jones. Luke Jackson, the senior. 6-2 forward is Luke Jackson. But the star of the show tonight has been Quentin Tolls. Doing whatever he wants right now. Here's Pede, double teamed. The drive with Jagger Haynes. And Pede's double teamed again. Haynes tried to catch it, he can't. Didn't have the moves like Jagger that time. Jackson, Hooper, Russell, three. Cooper Russ with his first field goal of the night. And it's 27-46, Maslin. Here come the Panthers. The drive, the kick out, Heater in the corner, back to Pede. Here's Jagger Haynes. It's double teamed by Russ and Jankowski and they have to call a timeout, a coach. Chad Spurgeon calls a timeout for Maslin. 4.33 remaining here in the fourth quarter. 46-27 is the score in favor of the Maslin Perry Panthers. We will be back to wrap up this fourth quarter here from Nordonia High School. You're listening to Nordonia Hills Boys Varsity broadcast with Darius Sefna on NordoniaHills.news.
Welcome back everyone in Ordonia High School. 4.33 remaining here in the fourth quarter as Perry have blown this game open. Quentin Tolls, who has been a huge uh, factor in this game in a positive way for the Panthers. It's been fantastic. Either way, here he is, inbounding the ball to Jagger Haynes. And here's Heater. Heater back to Tolls. Tolls drives, floaters good. Wow, these are some tough shots that he's able to make. Just lengthy, athletic, speedy. He's quick off the dribble as well. Has a nice crossover game too. And Cooper Russ is fouled. So Cooper Russ will be shooting a pair of free throws. Hey, interestingly, none of the Nordonia players have been able to go two for two from the line, and that's going to continue because um, it seems like uh, the free throw curse uh, is here at Nordonia High School. Too much Christmas ham, was it too much watching TV and NBA on Christmas Day? I don't know. But uh, the free throw shooting woes continue here at Nordonia High School. Cooper Russ looking to go one for two. Yes, he's able to do so. 48-30, 18-point deficit here at home for the Nordonia Knights with 3.55 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Heater inbounds to Tolls. Here's Heater bringing it up. Jagger Haynes back to Heater. To Tolls for an open three, book it. It is the Quentin Tolls show. This guy has not had rest at all. He has been fantastic. This guy's got 31, 31 points for Quentin Tolls tonight. 31 of the 51 points in all for Maslin. Here's Jankowski. Luke Jackson. Finds Ty Cody. Ty Cody lost it and able to get it back. Nice bounce pass for Reese and he can't convert. Here's Tolls. Tolls crossover on Ty Cody. Quentin Tolls now drives on Massey and lays it in again. This is insane. Quentin Tolls is a human torch right now. He's going wherever he wants. You could put put him on the Brooklyn Nets right now, give him a number 11 jersey, call him Kyrie Irving, you just get the same thing. Wow. 31 points in the, or 33 now in the game after that layup by uh, Quentin Tolls. And the Knights, looks like this game might be out of reach for them. 23 point deficit here um, in this fourth quarter. Knights have really struggled uh, from the free throw line and turnovers once again have been a problem for Nordonia. 2.55 remaining here in the fourth quarter. 53-30 is the score in favor of the visiting um, Maslin Perry Panthers. Here's Massey, drives and finishes. Nice move from the junior. Jordan Masson's getting into it a little bit here, down 23. And here we go, here comes Perry with the offensive execution. Pede in the corner, it is Jack Wagner. And we have a foul called. It's gonna be against the Knights on Luke Ty Cody. It's gonna be his third personal foul. And that's gonna send Jack Wagner, a junior, six feet to the line. Wagner hits his first free throw. Into 
Vincent McFarlane is also back in for Nordonia. As Coach Dominique Sanders is sending in his second string guys now at this point, some of the younger players. See what's going on here. It's an inbound. We'll see clock difficulty here. <laughs> Refs are coming to talk with Vincent McFarland here. I'm not sure what the case is. All three refs are conversing now about something. See what's happening. Are they gonna go back? No, they're gonna give a technical foul. I did not hear who, but it is on someone on Ordonia because free throws are being shot now by Knowledge Pool. There's Sophomore, 6'5", forward, as he misses both of the technicals. But at this point, 20-point lead, 2.04 remaining, 54-34 in favor of the uh, Panthers. Really, free throw woes are the last thing they're thinking about right now. Here's Pede. Pede drives all the way to the basket for the lay-in. So, Jared Pede with only his uh, fourth point of the game. Here's Massey in the corner. Massey trying to find some money does. It's Ty Cody and it's Reese. A nice pass inside Jankowski. Great find by Ryan Reese as he was able to convert um, that fantastic pass to Jankowski. Perry get it across half court. And a travel is called. Minute 22 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Maslin Perry Panthers with a 46, uh, 56, 36, excuse me, um, lead here over the Nordonia Knights at Nordonia High School. Maslin's about an hour away, and that long drive did not affect Mas uh, the Panthers whatsoever. Come in here and dominate Poole with the rebound to Pede, who's had a lot of responsibility in handling the ball this evening. Pede once more. He's double teamed. And nice, no, uh, looks like we're gonna have a jump ball. And Quentin Tolls finally on the bench getting some rest. Phenomenal night for Quentin Tolls. 33 points on, on the evening for him. As Reese comes up with it, here's a drive and a miss. Massey's tip won't go. And I have another. Um, Foul, foul on Perry. Or no, excuse me, the foul was on the uh, one of the newer players for the Knights, Joey Palinkis, the freshman. He is uh, one of uh, the only freshmen actually on this official varsity roster for Nodonia. Commits the foul, 6-1 guard. As I mentioned, freshman Joey Palinkis. Meanwhile, final 30 seconds here tonight from Nordonia High School. 57-36 is our score. Panthers blowing out the Knights right now. Here's Ty Cody, finds Jankowski down the lane. Missed it, but a foul. 
Jankowski disappointed in himself, thought he would be able to convert that one for the and one, but instead he'll be going to the free throw line for two shots. And don't forget our post-game show coming up after the game. Jankowski's first free throw is good. We talk about and dissect Quentin Toll's phenomenal performance tonight for Maslin. Really got them in the driver's seat. And the struggling uh, free throw shooting for the Knights. The turnovers continue tonight. As final 20 seconds come off the clock, a layup is good by Pede. Jared Pede's had a nice second half. And here's Jordan Massey, final seconds here. Ty Cody pulls up and misses, and that'll do it. Nordonia falls here at home by a whopping 21 points. Final score, 59 uh, Panthers, Knights 38, a 21 point blowout here on the road for Maslin Perry. Knights have some thinking to do. Um, Dominique Sanders is not pleased with this effort, you bet. But tonight, the night was owned by Maslin's Quentin Tolls. 33 points, phenomenal performance. And the Knights continue their season um, in the next coming weeks. We also, don't forget, Cleveland Sports Show, new episodes coming to you every week, so make sure if you're on NordoniaHills.News, make sure uh, you look at those as well. The post-game report coming to you in a few moments here from Nordonia High School. Final score, Maslin 59, Nordonia 38 in um, a 21-point blowout loss at home here for the Knights. Stay tuned for the post-game show. We'll have that for a little bit. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome back to Nordonia High School. Not the night the Knights were hoping for, a 59 to 38 loss here at home for the Nordonia Knights. Quentin Tolls um, for uh, Maslin Perry, phenomenal night, 33 points on the evening, only committed one foul, played the majority of the game. Knights, again, uh, problems with turnovers as well as free throw shooting. Uh, very rarely, only about once or twice, were the Knights able to actually go two for two from the free throw line when they had um, two opportunities at the free throw line. Knights uh, struggling tonight. 59-38 is the final score. As I mentioned, Quentin Tolls, 33 of those 58 Maslin points. Or excuse me, 33 of those 59 um, uh, points for Maslin. If you haven't in a while, uh, make sure, if you're on NordoniaHills.News, that you check uh, quick updates. We've uploaded our latest episode of the Cleveland Sports Show. You can also go to Darius.News, D-A-R-A-Y-U-S.News. You can find all the links to all my work, Twitter account, Spotify, or excuse me, uh, SoundCloud. We also are on Spotify. Just type in the Cleveland Sports Show, and all of your Cleveland sports needs um, will be fulfilled. Thank you so much to Shane for your wonderful work again on camera. We will see you very soon for another Nordonia Knights broadcast. Not the way the Knights wanted um, the game after Christmas to go, but we'll have a lot to learn from in these next coming weeks. Until our next game, ladies and gentlemen, have a happy new year and go Knights.